Hi all, something different for you. This isn't actually a build as such, but uh, I don't know if you saw my social media over the weekend, but uh, I was minding my own business over in uh, the British Museum. We were having a whole Egyptian thing of it because we went to see Prince of Egypt at night. And then uh, the following day, we went to see the Tutankhamun exhibition at the Saatchi Gallery. Well, well, coming back from the British Museum, on the way for something to eat at Nando's, of course, you've got to have a sneaky Nando's, I received an email and uh, this is my reaction. Okay, we've just walked from the British Museum and we're in Covent Garden Nando's at the moment. You can see that Nando's enjoying ourselves. Um, I just got an email <laughs> from a company. I entered a competition from a company called Model Designs Limited uh, because if any of you watch uh, Genesis Models uh, YouTube channel, it's got these racks behind him with all this paint on it. And I was like, I'd love something like that in the man cave. So I've been looking around on Facebook and the internet and I found this company, Model Designs. They were running a competition to win like a rack and like 250 50 pounds worth of paints. Unbelievable. I got an email saying I won. And uh, you can see my smile on my face. And Mrs. World of Wayne says, you can't believe it either. So uh, I've got it back, I've got in touch with them and um, it's, I've, I have, I've won. So it's going to be delivered to me. And I said, I, I said, if you don't mind, I'd like to put it on my channel. And uh, cause it's going to go in behind on all my videos. You'll be able to see it. But God, this weekend's getting better and better. I can't, I just can't believe it. I'm absolutely blown away because I never win anything in my life. More to the full point that I actually entered the competition for something that I was actually considering putting in the man cave and I really wanted to get an idea of things. That's pretty much why I entered the competition. So what I did, and I'm going to put their link down here, but I'm not affiliated with Model Designs at all. <laughs> I haven't got a clue who they were up until the competition ran. Uh, and now I'm looking at everything and I'm like, oh my God, this stuff is amazing. But uh, today... I've received my prize and I'm even more blown away. Now I've got to build the rack. So what I've got here is the rack and I'm going to build it for you on uh, camera. And we're going to be putting it up. I've got all the paints down there as well. So I'm going to show you that off as well. Uh, but you see where Andura is here and my out of time and uh, uh, my uh, Friday the 13th mile. So basically all of this is going to go. And this is where I'm going to have my rack. I'm going to wall mount it over there. Uh, Andura is probably not going to be in the background anymore. I'm going to move that outside. Uh, but... This is something I've been planning to do for ages. If you've watched my live stream, you'll see that I, I said I like Genesis models, if you've seen his YouTube channel, how he's got all the paint in the background and in one place. So if he needs something, he could just grab it. Um, and that's what got me into Model Designs Limited uh, because they do those sorts of racks there. And uh, to win, it's absolutely amazing. So uh, if you want to get a rack like this for yourself or you want to, uh, this one's plastic, you can get them in MDF as well or any other things that you'd want for a crafting man cave or a hobby room, uh, then check out model designs down here and see their full range because it's absolutely amazing. But uh, I've got my screwdriver to hand because I can't wait to get this rack built. So let's do that now. Okay, so over here, you can see just off camera here, all the shelves. We haven't got to worry about them now, uh, but these are the side braces that are going in. Now, we have got some protective film on both sides of these, and I'm going to be uh, assembling it. It doesn't really matter what way we do it, as long as these nut points here, I'll show you on this camera here, are pointing outwards. So, what I'm going to do is just take off all of this protective filming from this side, the grey side first. And if you've ever bought a new iPhone, you'll know just how satisfying this is. <laughs> taking off the uh, protective film. So we do this one as well. These are the side supports. Now the only thing you're going to need when you're assembling this is a Phillips head screwdriver. Oh, that felt good. I'm leaving on the other side because I can take that off once the thing's assembled. So I'm just going to put them to one side for a second because we've got this massive bit of uh, protective film to take off on this side here. Oh, this feels good. You know, the last time I did this was when I had a uh, project in high school using acrylic and they had this stuff on. <laughs> there we go. And that's off. Look at that. <laughs> nice and glossy. <laughs> Right, what we're going to do first then is we're going to be putting on these sides. And as I said, when we put them on, we want it so that the nuts there slot is going to be pointing on the outside so basically this one's going to be going on this side over here which i don't think you can see you can see it on one of the cameras there and then the other one is going to go this side over here now these are going to be held on let me just get this in where it's going to go with l-shaped brackets so they come with these brackets looking just like this and then we've got oh look, they've just fallen out and then we've got all the screws and nuts that we need in here as well now the screws do have washers so all we need to do is take the nut out 
just like that. And then if I do the one on this side first, because you can only put one side in, then you've got to put the shelves in. So we put a bracket just in here like that. And then what we'll do is we'll put one of the screws just through here, put the nut in the other side, which I'm trying to line up by hand. It's probably best to actually just put that in now like that <laughs> and then line it up just like that. And then we'll get this screwed in. Simples, just like that. Now we've got to put one in the base there. Now looking at it, because obviously this is the first time I've actually seen this, it's probably best to actually put the bottom ones in first. So I think that's something I'm going to do. You can see on this side, put this on like that. There's probably an easier way to do this, but uh, I'm doing it this way. As I said, I haven't really, uh, this is the first time I've seen it. <laughs> So we'll get this one in as well, nice and tight, and there we go. That's the first point in for that side there. We've got two more to put in, just over this side here, and this side over here. And there we go, if I just show you on the side camera, that's the first side in, it's nice and rigid. Now we can't put the second side in yet, because now we've got to start putting the shelves in. Now the bottom shelf holds all the lacquers here. So what we've got here, we first off need to take the protective film off this as well. All covered in protective film, so we're not gonna get any scratches on this paintwork, or the plastics, not paintworks, plastic. So take that off. This is a nice clear base here. And obviously this section here has got stands for the bottom here to stop it uh, just hanging down. So we put that one in first, and then we put the stands in. So like this, that's in lovely. And then the next one, We've got this section here, which has got the uh, room for the lacquers here. Did I say lacquers? I meant thinners. Uh, but anyway, I've taken the protective off that side as well. That's gonna go into this one just here. And as you can see, how easy they fit in here. Just like that. And then we're gonna be doing the rest of the shelves here, which are gonna be holding the rest of the lacquers. So what you have is a base level and then the level to actually hold the pots. So once again, I'm gonna take off all the acrylic protection now and we'll get these put in. So there we go, that's all of the uh, shelves in. All we've got to do now is just put this side on to this side and that will lock everything into place. Once again, making sure that the side with the nut hole is facing outwards. So let's get this in. And there we go, that is the rack complete. Let's put this on the head cam so you can see how big this actually is. Now, before I turn this around, there is some uh, stuff to get off on this side here. So I'm uh, stripping that off now. I love pulling this uh, acrylic off here. The protection is uh, part of the fun of building these, but you can see how easy that was to put this together. I am over the moon with this, I tell you. It's like Christmas for me, this is, as I said, I never win anything, ever. I think the only thing I've ever won is a tri-cast at the local Greyhound track in Peterborough. <laughs> but look, I've won this now. So there you go, I hope you can see it. That looks really impressive, doesn't it? The uh, bit of static on it, I will have to get a cloth to that to get rid of all of that. You can't even see it on camera, but there's a little bit of polystyrene here because it comes so well packed. Um, I said it comes in polystyrene and in a cardboard box, which is really handy because I need the polystyrene for the model railway that we're gonna be uh, putting on the channel in March. That's gonna be good. Uh, but the only thing it's missing is some paint, you know, and I'll have to go out there and get some paint, but no, I won some paint as well. Actually, some lacquer paint from Tamiya. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is fill that up and show you what we got. And there you go, check that out. That looks amazing. We've got lacquer paints all the way from one to 69. We've got space for four more down here. Uh, and we've got, as I said, all the thinners and uh, cements down the bottom as well. That's pretty amazing. As a matter of fact, I'll put some pictures up on the screen uh, from my phone camera, because it's gonna give a lot better detail for that. Uh, but wow, 
I'm blown away. This is like a, a modeler's dream, this is. <laughs> now, if you look at the top here, we've got some holes just there and there, which enables me to wall mount it. Now, I am gonna wall mount it over there, but I was looking at that where it's sitting now, and I'm wondering, do I, do I, do I keep it there? It does hide R2 though. I think on the wall, it's gonna look a bit more professional, so I will wall mount that. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you, because look, I've got a big smile on my face. Uh, they actually wrote me a, a congratulations as well, look. Got a congratulations, hope uh, won our prize, which I'm just like over the moon about. I think uh, in my Aussie terms, I'm absolutely stoked. So thank you to all the folks over at Model Design Limited. And by all means, if you are watching this and you want to get something like this yourself, or if you don't want the higher higher end one, you want something like MDF, they do do cheaper prices for that, then check them out. And you can get all of this sort of uh, display racking alternatives and also hobby craft um, sort of uh, mats and stuff like that on their channel. They've also got a forum in there that if you can sign up, you can talk about your model, ma model, model making passion uh, to the fellow community. But uh, I'm glad I found these people. I'm so glad I entered the competition. They're based in Devon. And uh, if you ever want to know where I got this from, just watch this video. Anyway, listen, thank you so much again to the folks over at Model Designs Limited. And I hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.